This evening at uh, the honourable home of uh, Ahmad Din and his wife, Bibbert Din, and the Mariyadda Association. It's an honour to be here on a number of occasions, and yet again, it's an honour to be here with you all uh, celebrating uh, this uh, community occasion uh, with everybody here involved. Uh, first of all, let me recognise the traditional owners of this land and pay my respect to their elders, past and present. We should always, always recognise the rights of the indigenous people who owned and ran this land. For 60,000 years they looked after and cared, cared for this land. And we should always, in our speeches, whenever we, we, we get the, the opportunity to speak, we should recognise them and thank them uh, for the land that they have uh, made available to us. And, and they looked after the land uh, like no other for 60,000 years. So I want to thank them uh, for their uh, traditional ownership of this land. I want to also acknowledge uh, Bob Carr and, and uh, Helena to be here this evening and everybody, everybody that's here. I won't go through the names and acknowledge each and every one of you because you are all special guests. Tonight is not about me. I know Ahmad says it's about me, but it's not. It's about Bob. It's about Bob, Bob Carr, the man who has carried the message for Palestine. He has carried a strong message for the people of Palestine. We in the Australian Arabic community, the Arabic community all, all around the world, celebrate the day that we can call Palestine home. It's been 70 years that the Palestinian people have been struggling for a home of their own. And I know, I know each and every one of you, each and every one of you have it deep down in your hearts that the, one day soon, the Palestinians will be able to call their st state of their own Palestine. I know Bob, Bob drove the issue strongly when he was Premier, when he was uh, Foreign Minister and continues to drive the issue strongly. If it wasn't for Bob, we wouldn't have the motion carried at the State Labour Conference. Now we have not only the New South Wales Labour Conference, supporting the state of Palestine, but we also have Western Australia, we have Victoria, we have uh, South Australia, I think we have Queensland, uh, I think soon we're going to have Tasmania. So Bob drove the recognition of Palestine, and we hope that soon, when Labor comes into power, Bill Shorten will call it, will recognise uh, the rightful ownership of the land to the Palestinian people. Ahmad Dib makes this forum for us, makes, gives us an opportunity to get together, to be able to recognize what drives us, what brings us all together. And that issue is the key. I know right through the Arab world, you will find conflict, whether it's in Syria, whether it's in Jordan, whether it's in Lebanon, everywhere around the world, unfortunately, divisions all over. But the one issue, the one issue that unites us all is Palestine. And I urge you, as members of the Australian Arabic community, to drive the issue. And as I best said earlier, one thing that I would like you to do is join the Australian Labour Party, join the Liberal Party, join the Greens, join any political party, join, get your children to join the political parties, because only through the political parties your voice will be able to be heard. If people are outside now, they are not with us here. They're not joining this barbecue, this great gathering, because they are outside the game. We are, the Arabic community are at the moment outside the game. In Australia, there's over 500,000 uh, members of the Australian community who are of Arabic background. But yet, that political strength is diluted because we don't exist in strong numbers in the political parties. You are in the party, you are a voice, you can vote, you, are, you, can, you get counted if you are in the political party. If you are outside, you can yell and scream and shout as much as you want, no one inside will hear you until you step inside. So I urge you all, I urge you all to join. If you can't join, get your son, your daughter, your brother, your sister to join the political parties. It is only through the political parties that your voice can be heard. Once again, I want to thank you, uh, Ahmed, and thank you very much, the Marietta Association, for hosting us here this evening. Thank you very much.